हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर सेवेंथ चैप्टर इन संस्कृत एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज सुभाषित कुशमानी इट मीन्स फ्लार्स ऑफ गुड सेंग्स और ट्रेजर ऑफ एपिग्राम सो लेट इज बिगिन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट सुष्ठो भाषितम सुभाषितम दैट विच इज सेड वेल इज सुभाषित इट मीन्स एपिग्राम इन एग्जॉस्टेबल ट्रेजर ऑफ एपिग्राम्स इज फाउंड इन संस्कृत द लिटरेट बिलीव दैट पृथ्वीयाम त्रिनी रत्नानी जलम अन्नम सुभाषितम देर आर थ्री जेम्स ऑन द अर्थ वॉटर फूड एंड वाइस सेंग्स एज वॉटर एंड फूड आर इन एविटेबल इट मीन्स एज वॉटर एंड फूड आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर मैन काइंड सो इज एपिग्राम ऑल्सो इन एविटेबल इट मीन्स एज वॉटर एंड फूड आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर मैन काइंड सो इज एपिग्राम इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर मैन काइंड संस्कृत एपिग्राम्स इंट्रोड्यूस नॉट ओनली इंडियन कल्चर और पीपल बट दे ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस ह्यूमन कल्चर हैंस दे गाइड एवरी ह्यूमन लाइफ बियॉन्ड द प्लेस एंड टाइम इट इज एन अंडरटेकिंग अप्रोच टू एस्टेब्लिश वैल्यूज इन ह्यूमन लाइफ लाइक अ फ्रेंड दिस एपिग्राम्स हेल्प इन कैरेक्टर बिल्डिंग ऑफ अ पर्सन दिस एपिग्राम्स ऑल्सो सप्लाई ब्यूटिफुल इलेस्ट्रेस ऑफ द फैक्ट that how can a man experience happiness and joy by following or practicing things which are worthy to be grasped in life it is a special feature of epigram to convey or to contain ocean of wisdom in a small vessel so jesus said that man does not live by bread alone he implied that food water air etc are necessary for man like any living being but he needs something more than the basic necessities good thoughts are as necessary for man as food subhasitas are good thoughts with the charm of poetry added to them since these thoughts are expressed or condensed in two or four lines of poetry they can be easily committed to memory Seven epigrams are presented here which beautifully describe the value of good people's words usefulness of trees acquisitions of virtues with efforts loss caused by unstable minded person means of examining man worth following virtues of great persons and nature of resolute person are presented here with a view to impart moral values good qualities and life skills in students who are citizens of tomorrow the subhasitas are presented here in this chapter so in the seven subhasitas of this lesson are first one is value of the speech of good people second one is usefulness of trees third one is gain of good qualities with efforts fourth one is harm caused because of the company of fecal mind person fifth one is means of the testing a person sixth one is virtues fit to be imitated of the great man and the last one is description of the nature of courageous man now let us begin with the first loka sabdi astu lilaya proktam sila likhitam aksharam asabdihi sapathen api jale likhitam aksharam here the first word is proktam it means as to something said by sabdi as to it means good people lilaya it means playfully sila likhitam aksharam it means it is like a letter written on the rock asabdihi sapthen api it means on the other hand something said by wicked people even under oath jale likhitam aksharam it means is like a letter written on the surface of water so the translation of the first loka is as to something said by good people casually or playfully it is like a letter inscribed or written on the rock on the other hand something said by the wicked people even under oath or after taking oath is like a letter written on the surface of the water so here in the first loka our poet describe about the value of the speech of good people now the second shloka is sevitavyo mahavrukshah falat chaya samanvitah yadi daivat phalam nasti chaya ken nivaryate here the first word is mahavrukshah it means a big tree falat chaya samanvitah it means having fruit and shade 
सेवितव्य इट मीन्स इज वर्दी टू बी रिस्टोर्ड इट यदि इट मीन्स इवन इफ दैवात फलम नास्ति इट मीन्स बाई बैड लक दर इज नो फ्रूट छाया केन निवार्यते इट मीन्स हु कैन प्रिवेंट ट्रेड सो द ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ द सेकेंड श्लोका इज अ बिग ट्री हैविंग फ्रूट एंड ट्रेड इज वर्दी टू बी रिस्टोर्ड टू इवन इफ बाई चांस दर इज नो फ्रूट हु कैन प्रिवेंट और वन फ्रॉम एन्जॉइंग इट्स ट्रेड so in this second sloka our poor describe about the usefulness of trees so we have to save the trees as a human being now the third sloka is aropyate sila shaile yatnen mahata yatha nipatyate kshane na adah tathatma gun doshiyo ho so the first word is sila it means a boulder aropyate it means is placed Saile means on the mountain. Yatne na mahata yatha it means with mighty effort, but nipatyate it means it is pushed. Kshane na adha it means down in a moment. Tathatma means likewise in case of soul. Gunadoshiyo ho it means due to virtue and vice. So the translation of this sloka is a boulder is placed on the mountain with mighty effort, but it is pushed down in a moment likewise in case of man's soul going up and down due to virtue or deeds or vice so in the third sloka there is the gain of good qualities with effort described in the third sloka now the fourth one is kshane rustah kshane tustah rushtah tustah kshane kshane avyavasthit chittasya prasado api bhayankarah Here the first word is kshane rustah it means he is displeased in this moment kshane tustah means pleased in the next moment rustah tustah kshane kshane means who is displeased in a moment and pleased in the next moment prasado api means even a favor from the one avyavasthit chittasya means having disturbed mind bhayankarah it means is terrible so the translation of this sloka is he is displeased in this moment and pleased in the next moment even a favor from the one whose mind is not arranged is terrible for others in short in this sloka unpredictable person is a problem for others is described in this sloka that the harm caused because of the company of fickle mind person Now the fifth sloka is yatha chatur bihi kanakam parikshate nigarshana chedana tap tadneh tatha chatur bihi purushah parikshate shruten silen gunen karmana so the first word is yatha means as kanakam parikshate it means a gold is tested chatur bihi it means in four ways निघर्षण छेदन ताप ताड़नेह इट मीन्स बाय रबिंग कटिंग हिटिंग एंड स्ट्राइकिंग तथा मीन्स लाइक वाइज पुरुष परीक्षते इट मीन्स मैन इज टेस्टेड श्रुतेन सिलेन गुणेन कर्मण मीन्स बाय एजुकेशन कैरेक्टर वर्च्यू एंड वर्क सो द ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ फिफ्थ श्लोका इज एज गोल्ड इज टेस्टेड इन फोर वेज बाय रबिंग कटिंग हिटिंग एंड स्ट्राइकिंग man is also tested in four ways by education character virtue and work so all that glitter is not gold so test are needed always so in this sloka we came to know that all that glitters is not gold jitni bhi cheez chamakti hai wo sari cheez sona nahi hoti so test are needed always means of the testing is a person now The next sloka is Apatsu Ramah Samaresu Bhimah Danesu Karnascha Nayeshu Krishnah Bhishmah Pratigna Paripalanesu Vikrant Karyeshu Bhavanjaneyah So the first word of this sloka is Bhava it means B Ramah Apatsu it means Ram in calamities Samaresu Bhimah it means Bhim in battles Danesu Karnascha means Karna in acts of charity. Nayeshu Krishna means Krishna in policies. 
பிஸ்மஹ பிரதிக்னா பரிபாலனேஷு மீன்ஸ் பிஸ்மா இன் ஃபுல்ஃபில்லிங் பிளேஜஸ் ஆஞ்சநேய விக்ராந்த காரியேஷு இட் மீன்ஸ் ஹனுமானா இன் ஆக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் வெல So the translation of this sloka is Be Ram in calamities Bhim in battles Karna in acts of charity Krishna in policies Bhisma in fulfilling pledges Hanumana in acts of valor or acts of courage So some elderly person is blessing for the younger person to be the best in everything The ideals set for set before him are well known So virtues fit to be imitated of the great man is described in this sloka. Now the last sloka of this chapter is Prarambhate na khalu vigna bhayen niche ha prarabhya vigna vihata ha viramanti madhya ha vignehi punah punar api pratihanya mana ha prarabhya cha uttam jana na parityajanti. The first word of this sloka is khalu it means indeed. prarambhate na it means the beginning is not made by nichehi means the lower persons vigna bhayen means owing to fear of obstacles madhya means the middle ones viramanti means stop after prarabhya it means starting vigna vihata means when they are struck down by difficulties prarabhya it means once having started cha uttam jana it means the best kind of the persons न परीत्यजन्ति इट मीन्स डू नॉट गिव अप अपी प्रतिहन्यमान इट मीन्स इवन दो दे वो फेसिंग विघ्ने इट मीन्स डिफिकल्टीज पुनः पुनः इट मीन्स अगेन एंड अगेन एंड द ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ द स्लोका इज इंडीड द बिगिनिंग ऑफ एनी वर्क इज नॉट मेड बाय द लोअर पर्सन्स ओइंग टू फियर ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स और डिफिकल्टीज द मिडिल वन स्टॉप आफ्टर स्टार्टिंग when they are struck down by difficulties once having started the best kind of persons do not give up even though they face difficulties again and again so in the seventh shloka there is the description of the nature of courageous man so with this our seventh chapter subhasit kusumani it means flowers of good sayings or treasure of epigram is completed over here thank you